Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your camera for your Galaxy Tab S 10.5. So, when you go on to the camera section, everything unfortunately is not set up for you for the best photo taking experience. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this little gear button down below. And this will pop up the settings. So one of the downsides is immediately that this is set to 6 megapixels instead of its 8 megapixels. So you're going to quickly set that. You're going to turn video stabilization off. Now why would you do that? Well, I would advise you dragging it and bringing it over here to this side. The reason you want to turn video stabilization off is simply for the fact that video stabilization is only good for low light uh, photos without a flash. So that's when you want to use it. Otherwise, it's going to have a uh, long delay on your photo taking experience. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is turn face detection on and turn video stabilization on. If you scroll up down below, you will see another option that you might want to take a look at, and that is voice control. I, for one, always have voice control on. I find it to be a very useful feature. Now, as you saw with the picture stabilization, I dragged it over and moved it over here. So any of these other uh, features that you tend to use a lot, you can do the same for this, such as video recording or even recording mode if you like to do fast motion or other types of modes. I, for one, like to bring the effects in and bring that to the side. As you notice, though, you can only do three. So you'll only be able to have three over there. Now, speaking of effects, if you ever want to change different effects, you can see them live right here, and you can download more. Uh, my favorite are from the download section are some of the symmetry ones, and then you can arrange these to see which ones you like and which ones you want to get rid of. So very nice and simple things right there. You also have modes right here at the bottom down below. Beauty Face is favored by most. Also, you have something called Shot More, which allows you to place effects after you've taken the photo, which is really nice. And then, of course, you have HDR and other modes that, again, you can download more and use them as you see fit. So, really nice for that purpose. And sports and sound and shot are the current ones, but, of course, you can download more as you go along. Alright, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please leave a like, thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.